Good morning folks, welcome along to the vlog today. Um, I made a comment yesterday, let me start that again, on the Brewtube official website uh, about some yeast and if I just reach across here, this was the yeast in question that somebody, uh, I think Andrew Lynch might be asking about. It's the Bernie Sanders lease at yeast. A lot of people think that it is the uh, the Pac-Man yeast, I believe. I think that's right. Or Amiga. One of the two. Um, but I mentioned I was making a starter for a 500 litre batch. And some people asked how big is that starter. Well, the starter wants to be 20 litres. But I haven't got a 20 litre Erlenmeyer flask. I've got 2 litre. And... Uh, five litre so what I tend to do and uh, I've not been doing this very long the two litre starter is what we'll start with the liquid yeast pitch just a homebrew size 200 billion cells they uh, say that there are there are in there and then I'll do a two litre starter and then I'll put that two litre starter into a five litre and then I'll do the 5 litre three more times, but without increasing the size of the vessel. So this is after the 2 litre. And if you look in the bottom of there, we've got a really good yeast cake. This has been in the fridge for almost a week now, while I've done uh, the rest of this Kvirk yeast. And this has only been turned off overnight. In fact, it's been turned off five minutes. And look how thick that yeast cake is there. So this, I think, will be close to uh, two or three thousand billion cells so one more crack on this one more yeast starter with this and I think I'll have a yeast pitch which contains enough cells to go into a 500 litre batch I could realistically pour some uh, wort extract or what I do when I've been brewing bitter is I've been taking off these five litre uh, no chill cubes if you like before the hop additions or before the final hop additions and uh, using this as my base medium for a starter so we just basically fill up the flask with this and then tip the yeast in and away she goes so yeah the plan is I could I could fill up a 20 litre fermenter and get a 20 litre starter that way but I can't control the temperature so I think even though the volume's smaller, we're just cycling the yeast through uh, 20 litres of wort, but five separate occasions. So hopefully that'll give us a similar result as doing a 2 litre into a 20 litre into a 500 litre. That'd be a normal process, I believe. So this one is off, and that's going to go in the fridge to settle down. In fact, what I'll do as well... I'll just give it a whirl, see if we can get some of this yeast off the side of the flask. Because we may as well get it all into suspension. And then that can go in the fridge and chill. And then we've got our other pitch here. So this at the minute is full of paracetic acid, or paracetic acid, persid as it's known. So I'm going to tip that out shortly. But first, I'm going to decant a little bit of the beer off of this Bernie Sanders yeast. So we've got about 500 mil left, and then I use that 500 mil to get the rest of the yeast into suspension. So if I bring you across here, I'm going to try and do this without cutting. There we go. I'll put it on here actually, it's a little bit more of a safer surface. So, we'll get the elastic band off. There we go. And I don't want to disturb the yeast at this point. So we're just going to decant, just get rid of 90% of this beer. And there we go, we've got about 500, 500 mil left in the bottom there. And then a really, really good, good yeast cake. So there's also a stir bar in here. I don't know if you can see it. It's there, look. 
So that stir bar can just go across straight into the next starter. And I'll also use a little bit of the wort to uh, get this yeast transferred across as well. Basically rinse the flask out. So I'm happy with that. Excuse me for the uh, wobbly transfer. There's a lot of containers on the floor down here. I do apologise. Right, now we've got this back in the corner. I'm going to first get some more uh, cling film, as we call it in the UK, or saran wrap, I believe it is, in the States. And just make sure we've got a little bit of, bit of the sanitizer on there. We'll pop that there for a sec. Tip this out. There we go. Make sure that we're framed. And then we're going to take this as yeast starter, the Bernie Sanders yeast, and we're just going to transfer it straight into this flask. And there goes the uh, stir bar. We'll just pop that on for now. Pop that there. Then we're going to take this water extract. Or it's actually just water. It was the best bit of the recipe, this one. And we're gonna go see if I can do this without spilling any. Straight into there. There we go. Spilt very little there, I'm pleased with that. And then again, quick slush around. Make sure we're picking up all those extra cells. There we go. So that now is ready for the next starter, which I will be doing today. No, not today. <laughs> So that's ready for the next starter, which I'll be doing when this one's finished. And that is going to be a Kolsch yeast. Um, again, from WHC Labs. And then we're just going to top this bad boy up to around the four and a half, five litre mark. Just to make sure that we've got enough food for the little yeasties. full elastic band, pop that on there, then I'll store this water extract in the fridge, ready for another starter, we'll pick this up on the heated stir plate, that should, that should be whirring away, we should start to see that move in a minute. So these heat plates, <clears throat> an SH3 from eBay, I think it was about 60, 70 quid. You've got to be careful with the heat settings. I mean, kind of having the dial at nine o'clock, you're sort of shooting for about 20 degrees. But if you move it to 10 or 11 o'clock, it goes up to about 50 degrees. So it's a very short scale. You've got to be very careful with it. You can get it boiling on here, you know, if you went right up to the top. So you've got to be careful with it. And that's it, we've just transferred the Bernie Sanders yeast from a two litre, well, from actually uh, a pitch of 200 billion cells. And then we've gone through the first starter, which has probably taken us up to a 500 billion cells. And then hopefully this will take us to 2,000 billion cells. And ultimately we're looking for 
around five to six thousand billion cells uh, for our pitch to go into a 500 litre batch of beer. There we are. It's early in the morning. I've not woken up properly yet. I hope all that made sense. I will answer questions in the comments below if you've got any. Um, and then when we come to pitch this stuff in the beer, in fact I'll show you the beer being made as well because I want to share these recipes with you all. And then the cans will be available should the beer turn out without infection in December for the 4-4 can. We're going to have a couple of New England IPAs. We're going to have a Kolsch and we're going to have maybe a chocolate orange stout and some other really fancy, lovely things like that. So stick around for that.